Jr. and Gordon. Gordon's not going to give up that yellow line. You can bet that. Eight cars due, two car gaps, and two by two. Now, Junior's got help, Kirk Bush. No, Bush slices to the outside. He wants to win the 500. He gives Jeff Gordon a push going off into turn three. Kurt Bush, the next L Cup champion, fights his way to second. It's a good thing he can't get any closer than that, because I believe he would have probably given Gordon a big shot up the hill. Here they come, boys. White flag, one to go. Scott Ricks to four, and Stewart looks to go three wide. Thinks better of it. He is trapped behind Jimmy Johnson. Boy, that 97 car of Kurt Busch is a fast piece of equipment right there. He's got to look. He's the only Ford in the front five. What can he do? Look at Scott Riggs in that 10 car. He's trying to get him a top five finish in this Daytona 500. And there's Jimmy Johnson on the 48 on the outside, Darrell. Somebody needs to get up there and go with him, but I don't know if Tommy Stewart can run the outside or not. He had an all day. Bush to the outside. Gordon slams the door on him in the turn three. Six cars have a chance to win it. Jeff Gordon's going to lead him into turn four. They're one mile from home. Tony Stewart just slid up the racetrack. He and Jimmy Johnson are going to make contact. Three wide. They're bouncing off each other. Jeff Gordon's going to win his third Daytona 500. Kirk Busch, Dale Jr., and Scott Riggs completes a dream week with a fourth-place finish.